Hi. Um, <clears throat> here's uh, jackpot questions from last Wednesday at the Brass Monkey Shore. I'm going to give you eight questions. If you had got all of them right, you would win £50, but nobody did, so that's why we're playing for £100 tonight. Uh, see if you would have got these right. Here's the questions, and I will show you um, the answers straight away after each question. So if you want more time, <coughs> pardon me, pause the video. Okay, question number one. Which of the following colours does not appear on the flag of Algeria? Green, red, or yellow? Two of them are on the flag. One is not, which is the colour that is not there. Answer now. I'm about to show you the answer. The correct answer is yellow because the flag is red, white, and green. Most people got that one right. Uh, number two, which modern festival most closely equates to the old Gaelic festival of Samhain? It looks like Samhain, but apparently you pronounce it Samhain. Uh, does that equate to Easter, Halloween, or Christmas? Going to give you the answer now. Pause if you want more time. The correct answer is Halloween. End of the harvest, start of the winter, 1st of November, but they start the celebrations the night before. So that's Halloween, you know. Uh, it's a harvest festival, basically. Number three, which city is furthest west in Spain out of Barcelona, Madrid, or Zaragoza? Which is furthest west? Correct answer is Madrid. Quite a lot of people said Zaragoza. Barcelona's east coast, Madrid's in the middle, and... Zaragoza's kind of halfway between the two, something like that. Um, so, well done if you got that one right. Still in the game. Uh, number four. In 1953, Christine Jorgensen became famous in the USA for undergoing which kind of operation? Uh, was it a sex change? Was it a heart transplant? Or was it a blood transfusion? Uh, the correct answer is sex change. Male to female. It used to be George, became Christine. Uh, I looked this up afterwards. It turned out there was earlier sex change operations in Europe. Um, Christine Jorgensen became famous because it was the first sort of well-known one in America, but uh, they'd been doing that sort of thing in Germany in particular since the 1930s. Right, okay, question number five. In the Harry Potter stories, which kind of wood is used to make the Wand of Destiny, or what is it made from? Is it an elder, a larch, or a ruin? Uh, if you're like me, you've got to guess this one. Because I tried reading those books. Well written, but, you know, kind of got bored of it. Um, so the correct answer is Elder. Also known as the Elder Wand. There you go. One for the Harry Potter people. Uh, number six. Where was the martial arts film star Bruce Lee when he died? Quite young in 1973. Was he in Hong Kong? Was he in Hollywood? Or was he in Honolulu? Uh, correct answer is Hong Kong. Off a cerebral edema. Uh, brain growing too big. Something like that. I've read the Wikipedia page on this. Can't really remember what it says. Something to do with uh, medication being badly um, administered. Misprescribed, I think. Not quite sure. You might need to look that up. Let me know in the comments if you know. All right, number seven. Are you still in the game? There's only two questions to go for £50. During which decade did Queen Victoria get married to uh, Prince Albert? 1820s, 1830s, 1840s. Okay. Correct answer here is the 1840s, just February 1840. If I remember rightly, she became Queen 1837, so she's a couple of years into being Queen, got married to old Prince Albert. Right, if you are still in the game, there is one last question. And if you get it right, you would have won the money. Which of these writers was up before the firing squad and ready to die before a last-minute reprieve arrived and saved their life? Was it George Orwell? Was it Emile Zola? Or was it Fyodor Dostoevsky? Okay, uh, choose your answer. Here comes the answer. It is Fyodor Dostoevsky. He was uh, had been found guilty of uh, reading banned literature. I'm not sure exactly what. 1849. Tsar sent a last-minute warning. He was literally up in front of the, the firing squad with some other people. And the Tsar sent a message saying, nah, that guy's all right. 
let him off. And uh, he lived for another another 30 years plus. All right, so that was lucky. Uh, right, so show you all the answers together. Hey, let me know how many you got wrong or how many you got right. Or did you get them all right? Nobody did last Wednesday, so it is a rollover and we're playing tonight for £100. Might see you there. Or by the time you see this video, that might be old news. So, um, <clears throat> come to a quiz sometime. Yeah. Bye.